Alright guys, this is a quick video to show you how to thread the sewing machine uh, so that you are ready to start practicing on a bit of material. So uh, at each machine you'll need a reel of cotton, uh, a bobbin case, a bobbin, uh, some pins and your test pieces of calico. Uh, make sure your machine's plugged in and has power to it and with your reel of cotton you need to put it on the spool holder run it across and you'll notice on the top of the machines there's some numbers on them so the one that's written here first really little see if you can see that it's a number one and when you follow it down you look for number two then you come back up to number three so I'm going to go down the side of the pickup hook okay and you'll see that there from the side that it goes down the left I'm going to come down around Number two, back up to number three. Now at three, you need to wind the hand reel towards you and you'll see the pickup coming out the top of the machine. You need to go around that. Okay, so it goes through that little eyelet. From three, we're going down to where there's a number four on the machine. Now at number four on the machine, there's a little tiny hook here at the needle that we need to go around. So I'll get that done and then I'll zoom in and show you. So I tend to make like a little gun with my left hand. There we go. You can see it's just gone through there. And the last step is to thread the eye of the needle. It's the hardest bit. And you may have to get a pair of scissors and just trim the end of your thread. Okay, so trimming the end of your thread. And then threading the eye of your needle. From the front. To the back. It really is the hardest part. I try and make it so you can see it a bit easier. Okay, I've got it. So that's gone through the front of the needle and I'm making sure it doesn't wrap itself around it. Okay, it's gone through the front of the needle and then you need to lift and put your thread through the bottom there out the back. That's the top thread done. We now need to do the one in the bobbin. The next part to thread the bobbin, take the case off. You need your bobbin case and you'll notice this part comes up at the top. Okay, you'll have your bobbin thread. So if we hold this straight up, the bobbin case, and we have our thread going out to the left on our bobbin, we pop it in, we bring the cord back to the right through this little slot here, up through here, through the backward C, so it looks like that, and then when you pull that cord to the right, You'll see the bobbin spins to the left. That means you've got it the right way. Now you're going to pop him in the underneath storage here. Okay, you can see the little cutout at the top here. Okay, so he goes in just like that. He'll click. Now you need to hold the thread from the needle at the back. Wind your handle towards you. The needle will go down to the bobbin and pick up the thread. And once you see that white thread go past halfway down the bottom, you can pull it. It'll pick up your bobbin from the bottom. You can use some scissors then, not to cut it, just to help pull it through. And you'll see there, I've got my two threads. I've got a black and a white, just so you can see the difference. Ordinarily, you'd use the same colour. I'm going to close that up, put the case back on, 
and I'll just trim those so they're not so long. Now with your two test pieces, you're going to put them together like so, lining up one edge. You're going to put a couple of pins down the right hand side in like that. Three is enough, it's just a practice. And we're going to sew in. Now you can see just here next to the feed dog that you've got some little guides here. Okay, these little lines tell you how many uh, millimetres you are away from the needle. So that first one's 10 mil away, 15 mil away, 20 mil away. So guys, I've got my 10, 15 and 20 mil line there telling me how far away I'm from the needle. So I'm going to have a 10 millimetre or a 1 centimetre seam allowance. So I'm going to run my edge up along that line through here. I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to hold my thread out the back just so it doesn't get pulled through. I'm going to press my foot down on the pedal a little bit, not a lot, a little bit. All right, now I've started. Now whenever you start and stop on fabric, you go forward like we just did, and then you need to reverse. So this is a reverse switch here. You hold that down, then you put your foot down on the pedal, and he'll reverse, let it go, and you're good to go forward again. So that's basically tied and knot at the start. And as you get to the pin, you take it out, and you put it straight in your pin cushion. I'm gonna keep going to the next one. Nice and slow. My pin's close. Stop and take it out. Straight in the pin cushion. Stop and take the pin out. Get close to the end. I'm going to wind my hand just to get closer to the corner and then I'm going to start reversing just about half a centimetre. Check your needles out of the fabric. If it's not, wind it out. If it is, pull him up. Two finger pinch, pull out both. You'll see it's got the black thread and the white thread. A pair of scissors, cut him off. You'll see the bobbin thread there is on the bottom, black. And your white thread there on the top. You open him up. You've got a nice straight seam there. So you guys are going to practice one straight, then you can get another two bits of pra practice fabric and you can practice going around the corners to make a U shape. GoPro, stop recording.